everyone. Thank you for joining me on this Saturday evening. My name is Kylie with Bake You Love, and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to flambe, along with a couple of good safety tips so you can do the demonstration very safely. So, I have my saute pan here at the ready, and I have all of my other ingredients and everything together, and we'll go through that in just a moment. So flambe is a French word, which translates to flam flammable, which is exactly and what we're going to be doing tonight, we are going to be igniting some alcohol, hopefully creating a fun big flame, and making a delicious sauce. So flambe is a technique that is usually done for dramatic flair and for excitement, but it's also done to impart a nice, great, rich flavor into sauces. And this is done when the alcohol is ignited, it burns it off, and you're left with that nice, rich flavor uh, behind in your sauce without that sharpness that alcohol can sometimes impart. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat on here. I'm gonna turn it on medium high. So I have all my ingredients here, and tonight we are going to be making a banana foster sauce, which is a great classic sauce. It's a component to one of our recipes in the American Classic series that we have going on right now. It is part of the May box, which is a banana foster's sticky bun. So this delicious sauce is made, and then it is poured over a sticky bun base. So I have, like I said, all my ingredients here measured out, which is great. You want to have that already going because you'll see that this process goes very, very quickly. But for any recipe, you want to make sure you're not running around the kitchen and trying to get all of your ingredients together at the last minute. So you're just going to add your ingredients according to your recipe. So I have my saute pan here, as I mentioned, and I have a heat proof spatula. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get those stirred up. The other important things that I have at the ready is a lid that fits down over my saute pan in the event that your flames get a little bit wild and crazy and you're a little bit concerned. You can just pop your lid down, it'll stuff them right out, and you'll be safe and good to go. Last but not least, I do have a fire extinguisher here. It's always great to have one whenever you're lighting alcohol and it's just a great safety measure to have in place, although a fire is very unlikely. So I'm just gonna keep stirring these ingredients here. And stirring is something that's great right now uh, to do with your ingredients. However, when I do go to light my ingredients, I don't want to mix in my alcohol because that dilutes it and we're not gonna get that nice ignition when we light it. All right, so I am using a 40% proof rum. It's a spice rum in this recipe tonight. When you flambe, you want to use something between 40 and 60 percent. That's the sweet spot. It has just enough alcohol concentration in it to give you that good ignition, but you don't want to use anything higher than that. Like 120 percent proof is highly flammable and can be dangerous. And most beer and wine is pretty low in alcohol concentration, so you're not going to get a whole lot of flame. You might get a little blip, but it's not going to be anything too exciting. So you can start to hear my ingredients are bubbling, they're happy, everything's kind of coming together. I'm just gonna finish stirring that in. And when I do go to add in my alcohol, I'm gonna turn my heat off for safety reasons. And I'm gonna add it in around the edge of the pan. And that again is to kind of keep it separate from the rest of the ingredients. And I am going to also wait about five to ten seconds before I light it because this is going to allow that vapor pressure to build up. It's going to give us that great ignition that we are looking for. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn my heat off. My ingredients are where they need to be. I'm going to add in my rum around the edges there. Give it that couple of seconds. And we're going to light it. There we go. That is what we are looking for. This is the excitement of flambe that we all crave. So what's happening right now is the alcohol is burning off. The flames are gonna start to dissipate. Sometimes, like I said, it's a smaller flame. Sometimes it's a bigger flame. It can be pretty exciting. We're gonna let that alcohol just finish burning off before we turn our heat back on. So I am right where I would like to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat back on and I'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients and finish off my delicious sauce here. I wanna thank you all for joining me this evening. 
And if you joined us a little bit late or you want to see these steps and go through them again before you try your hand at flambeing yourself, you can go to our blog at blog.bakeeatlovebox.com where we have a post that goes through step by step how to flambe with a really great bonus at the bottom, which is the uh, banana fosters sticky bun recipe. If you want to make this recipe but you're short on time, you can go to bakeheatlovebox.com, order yourself a May box, which ships out the 21st of this month, and you can impress all of your brunch guests by flambeing and making the delicious banana fosters recipe. I hope everyone has a great evening. In just a few short seconds, this video is going to post. And if you have any questions or comments as usual, please feel free to put them there and we will absolutely respond to them. Thank you so much for joining me. Look forward to seeing you next time.